Hey everybody, this is my 55 gallon Garami tank and today we are going to start a chemiclean treatment to take care of all the red cyanobacteria we have in this tank. I'm not sure why but it comes out looking much more sort of purpley red on video than it does in person here but you still get the idea all that reddish sort of purpley stuff you can see that's coating almost everything in there is actually red cyanobacteria and so today we are going to get in there with the chemiclean and do a treatment it's a fairly simple process I'm not actually going to show you the process of me treating the tank that simply involves uh, measuring out one scoop for every 10 gallons dissolving it into a little bit of water and then pouring the water into the tank the only thing that you really need to uh, be concerned about when you do a chemiclean treatment is you have to put an air stone in the tank and I mean you have to put an air stone in the tank the product actually oxidizes the cyanobacteria and in the process of oxidizing it it uses up a lot of the oxygen in the tank and on one occasion I did use the product and I had vigorous water flow and I had a uh, uh, surface agitation and I did not put an air stone in the tank because I thought there was going to be plenty of gas exchange and the result was a few dead fish the next day so that was the one and only time I've ever used ChemiClean without an air stone and I did lose fish so take that part seriously always put an air stone in your tank when you're going to treat with ChemiClean so before we actually do the treatment I want to talk a little bit about the difference between treating the tank with ChemiClean, which some people can, you know, view as maybe the lazy way out, versus sort of rethinking the way I uh, handle my tank and the way I maintain my tank altogether. Because you can get rid of cyanobacteria by changing the way you maintain your tank. You can reduce the food, you can reduce the light change the nutrient levels, change the amount of time the light's on. There's a variety of things you can do that will affect the way the cyanobacteria grows in the tank. So there's always a discussion between whether or not to simply do the treatments or to change the way I manage my tank altogether. So I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod, have a seat, and we will have a little chat about my philosophy on the difference between changing the way I maintain my tank versus simply doing a simple ChemiClean treatment, which is my preference. So sit tight, and I will see you in just a moment. All right, now I've had this discussion many times over the years, whether or not to simply treat it with ChemiClean, knowing full well that in time it's probably going to come back and I'm going to have to treat it again, versus managing my tanks differently so that I eradicate the chemi clean and it never comes back and I just don't have to worry about it. I've even had the discussion about using uh, harsher treatments such as erythromycin or um, broad spectrum antibiotics which will kill off the cyanobacteria but that also messes up your nitrogen cycle and it can do a lot of things in your tank that you know again that's a little bit of an extreme method but the idea is it will once and for good eradicate the cyanobacteria and that's the end of it. So earlier on in my fish keeping experience, I was a lot more enthusiastic about trying to figure out all these ways to keep my aquarium algae free and I wanted no sign of bacteria. I didn't want any mulm on the bottom. I wanted every leaf on every plant to be perfect every, you know. And as time went on, I settled into a more realistic approach to keeping my fish tanks. And one of the things I found was that no matter what I did, no matter how much effort I put into getting the cyanobacteria out of my tanks, I've got a few tanks where it just does not go away. It comes back, and I don't know what else to do to get it to go away. I've tried changing the feeding. I've tried changing the lighting. I've tried changing the routine with how frequently I do water changes. I've looked into the balance between how much phosphates versus how much nitrates I have and so on and so forth and I spent years going around with all that stuff and it never accomplished anything other than I still would have to treat with the cyanobacteria or treat for the cyanobacteria yeah, once or twice a year and I was basically just driving myself mad trying to eradicate this so if you want to say that you know just using the cyanobacteria or keep calling it cyanobacteria just using the chemiclean to eliminate the cyanobacteria 
you know, if you want to call that the lazy way, that's fine. I, I'm not, I'm okay with you calling that the lazy way. I think of that as the smart way of doing it, honestly. I've just, I've given up. I'm tired of messing with it. It doesn't seem to matter. And all it does is frustrate me. Using the ChemiClean, as I already explained, you just dissolve some scoops into some water. You pour it in the tank. I've actually got a pump and an air stone and everything in the other room. That's my... ChemiClean air stone. Whenever I'm ready to do a treatment, I just plug that in, throw the stone in the tank, pour the stuff in, and after a couple days, the treatment's done. I do a water change or not. A lot of times, I don't even do a water change. I just pull the air stone out um, when I'm comfortable that the um, you know the medication or whatever. It's not even really a medication, but you know after it's done oxidizing and I'm no longer concerned that it's going to be uh, reducing the oxygen levels in the tank. Sometimes I do a water change, sometimes I don't. I just take the air stone out of the tank and it's done. And I get a minimum of six to nine months before I have to do a treatment on that tank again. So, you know, again, is that the lazy way? Maybe, you know, I just, I don't care. I'm not down here to be a master fish keeper that's going to have a perfect aquarium with no, nothing in it. I just like keeping my fish tanks and I enjoy them. And when the cyanobacteria gets to be a little more than I wanted, I do a ChemiClean treatment and it's done. You know, it's kind of like the difference between breeding a new type of grass that will only grow this tall versus just going out and mowing my lawn when it needs to get mowed. You know, I'm just going to go mow the lawn when it needs to get mowed rather than try to do this whole new thing and this whole different way of doing things. And, you know, I keep fish the way I keep fish. It's not as bad as it used to be in terms of high nutrient levels, overfeeding, overcrowding. You know, I used to have my aquariums a lot more densely packed than they are with fish now, a lot higher stocking density. I used to feed up to five times a day sometimes. I would come in here and just, I wanted to mess around with my fish, and so I would put food in their tanks, and you know. So I've really gotten to be better about fish keeping as far as keeping it a balanced system. But at the same time, I still have heavily stocked tanks. I'm still generous with my feeding. And I compensate for that by doing more frequent water changes and not getting so worried about whether a little bit of mulm builds up in the aquarium or not, if a little bit of algae is growing in there. And ultimately, of course, to me, all that looks uh, natural anyway. Uh, the cyanobacteria, yeah, it doesn't bother me to look at, but once it gets to a certain point, then it does need to be treated uh, and taken care of. With the algae, it's a different story. You know, algae really is difficult to take care of. If you've got algae growing in a tank where it's becoming problematic, then you do have to make adjustments to the way you manage your tank. You can scrape it off the glass. You can maybe even get in there with a toothbrush and, you know, brush some stuff down to, to reduce it. But with algae, you're kind of stuck. With chemically, I mean, with the cyanobacteria, you just do a ChemiClean treatment and it's gone. And, I mean, it's just as simple as that. Again, if you want to say that's the lazy way of doing it, that's fine. You can call it the lazy way all day long. I don't care. It's the easy way of doing it. I just do a ChemiClean treatment and I'm done. And I don't have to mess around with anything. So I've gotten on top of my algae problems for the most part in a lot of my tanks by reducing the feeding and putting algae-eating type fish in there. Uh, and that sort of thing, but with the cyanobacteria, I was never able to find anything that made it go away. It's not universal. I don't have it in all my tanks. I can't explain why it's in some tanks and not in others. There seems to be no correlation between how much nitrates or phosphates or whatever. It's just in some tanks and it's not in others. I've never transmitted it from one tank to another. You'd think after all these years I'd have it in all my tanks by now. I'm not... You know, I don't treat this like a surgery. I'm, I'm not constantly sterilizing my nets and filters and all that kind of stuff. My, my siphon hose, you know, I regularly will go from one tank to the next to the next to the next and just go around the room. And, you know, I never even rinse the thing off from one tank to the next. And so with fish keeping like that, I'd have it in all my tanks if I was going to have it in all my tanks. I just don't. I have it in some of my tanks and they just need to get treated with the chemical occasionally and so that's what I do. So if you're at the phase in fish keeping or if your personality dictates that you're really into trying to figure that stuff out and you like tinkering with things and fiddling with things and you want to make all these little you know fine-tune adjustments and try to get your tank um, balanced to where you don't have the cyanobacteria growing in there anymore. That's great. You know, that's a, that's a fun project to try to work on, and it's good learning process and everything else. But I've been there and done that. You know, I've done that years ago, and I just don't care anymore. I just, it's so much easier just to throw a ChemiClean treatment in the tank 
and I'm done with it, and I just don't care. I'm not really worried about whether or not I can figure it out or I can get on top of it. It's just it's more pain in the butt than it's worth me dealing with. I do a simple chemi-clean treatment, and it's done. I can forget about it for six months or whatever. And as you can see in the tank behind me, it doesn't look bad. It's just, you know, it's, 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 it's over everything at this point. Everything in the tank looks red. So I'd like to see a little bit of the natural wood color back. I'd like to see a little bit of the natural uh, coloring in the rocks and things that are in there. And even the plants, of course, as they develop the cyanobacteria uh, over the leaves, that does block the light and can reduce the you know, efficiency of how well the plants are photosynthesizing because they've got stuff all over them. So it's time. It's been months and months, but now we're going to go ahead and do a treatment. And as I said, I'm not even going to bother putting it on video. I'll just pour some water in there that's got some stuff mixed in it, and I'm going to put an air stone on it. So the next time you see this tank, it will have an air stone running in it, and that's because we're going to do the ChemiClean treatment. So I will put a link down below. Uh, to the ChemiClean. I think it's a great product. There's some other stuff out there that you can use. It works pretty much just as well, but I use the ChemiClean for the red cyanobacteria, even though I usually have to deal with the blue-green stuff. The ChemiClean that's for the red cyanobacteria actually works just as well on the blue-green. So don't let that stop you from buying it if you've got the blue-green uh, algae. The ChemiClean that's designed for the red cyanobacteria also works for the blue-green just as well. And in fact, I think it works a little better than the uh, Ultralife stuff. That's the other product I used to use was the Ultralife. And that does a good job on the blue-green algae. But again, the ChemiClean for the red algae just wipes it all out and it does a great job. So again, I'll put a link to that down below. I'll put a link to both of them down below. You can pick whichever one you want uh, if you're interested in that. Anyway, make sure you subscribe. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. And then don't forget, of course, this one right here is my 55-gallon Karami tank. So look forward to seeing you soon. And pretty soon this tank's going to look a lot better than it does now. So thanks again, and I'll see you real soon.